Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am finally doing my manga collection tour. So let's go! So first I wanted to start with my favorites shelves. Um, my favorite manga of all time, as I have told some of you, is Oh My Goddess, aka Oh My Goddess. I have the complete collection in the Dark Horse editions. I also have the Adventures of the Mini Goddess, which is just a cute little four coma series. These have the unnumbered and couple numbered volumes and stickers that I still haven't been able to get off. And then on the next couple shelves, I have the rest of the series and a light novel with my Erd figurine that I have showed you guys on my Instagram. After that, we start on my Clamp series. Clamp is one of my favorite artist groups of all time. I don't like all of their stories, but I do like quite a few of them, and I almost always love their art. So we have Angelic Layer complete, Park Captor Sakura complete in two different versions. Um, then we have Clear Card up to volume six, which is not complete, Chobits, which is complete, Clover, which is complete. I hate this version. I want to get the individual volumes. Gate, which is complete. It's on a permanent hiatus, so this is all they're ever gonna have most likely. Then I have Kobato complete, Magic Knight, Ray of Earth part one and two complete, Archie Veda complete, XXXholic, I am missing volumes three, four, and five, and seven, and then that would be complete. XXXholic, Ray complete, or just holic, however you wanna pronounce it. And then on the bottom shelf, I have all of X1999. It is also on a permanent hiatus. So this is all we're ever gonna get. So starting on the top of my main shelves, I have all of my tall manga. Starting with another, this is complete in one omnibus volume. And then I have Beastars 1 through 8. This is currently up to 11 in the US and complete at 22 volumes in Japan. Bride Story, I have 1 through 3. This is up to volume 12 in the US and 13 in Japan. It is still ongoing. Chicago Volumes 1 and 2, this is complete. Children of the Whales 1 and 2. This is up to 16 in the US and 18 in Japan. It is ongoing. Cocoon Entwined, I have volumes one and two. I believe this might be on hiatus, but I'm not 100% sure. I know that it is not complete at two volumes. Delicious in Dungeon, I have one through eight. I am missing volume nine, and this is up to volume 10 in Japan. I think it's going to be done at volume 11 or 12, but I'm not 100% sure. Then Doro He Doro, I have volumes one and two. This is complete at 23 volumes and I will be collecting them soon. Emma, I have volumes one, two, three, and five. I am missing volume four and then this will be complete. Volume four is really hard to find. And then at Frau Faust, I have volumes one through five. This is complete. Coming into this corner here, we have Full Metal Panic, one through nine, this is complete. Haru's Curse, which is complete. Hell's Paradise, one through five, which is not complete. And I'm a little bit behind. Kaze-san and series, they have different titles for every volume. The Kaze-san series is complete at five volumes. And then the Kaze-san and Yamada series is up to date Volume 2 is supposed to be coming out soon. Really quickly, above my shelves is my one and only manga box set. 
It is the Oran High School Host Club box set, volumes one through 18. I would open this, but it's very tall and I'm already standing on a chair. So there's that. Continuing with my tall volumes, I have Liselat and the Witch's Forest. This is not complete. I am missing the last volume. Volume five is incredibly hard to find. Love on the Other Side, complete. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, complete. Neon Genesis Evangelion Complete, Oh My Sweet Angel Complete, Olympos Complete, Ooku 1 through 11. This is not complete. I'm also a few volumes behind on this. One Week Friends Complete, and The Poe Clan Volume 1. This is complete in two volumes, but I have no idea when the second volume is coming out. Then for the last of my tall volumes, I have Saint Young Men Volumes 1 through 3. This is not complete and I am behind on picking this up. Sadako at the End of the World, this is complete in one volume. Scum's Wish, Volumes 1 through 8. There's one more volume of this that I need and it will be complete. This is another one that the last volume is really hard to find. Skull-Faced Bookseller Handasan, this is complete in four volumes. To Your Eternity 1 through 7, I'm quite behind on this as well. It is not complete. Wake Up Sleeping Beauty is complete in six volumes. When a Young Magician's Pupil Smiles is complete in this very large omnibus volume. Witch Hat Atelier, Atelier? I never pronounced this right. I have volumes one through four. This is not complete and I am behind on this. The Wise Wise Beast of the Wizarding Wisdoms is complete in one volume. Wolf Children is complete in one hardback volume, and Wotakoi I have volumes one and two. Three and four are out, and I'm pretty sure that's not the complete series. Moving on to my average height manga, I have After the Rain volumes one through five. This is complete. Alcino one through three. This is on permanent hiatus, so this is all there's ever going to be. The Ancient Magus Bride. 1 through 12. I think I'm one volume behind on this. Angel Sanctuary 1 through 20. This is complete. And Happy 1 through 3. This is complete in 10 volumes. I just need to pick up the rest. They're all out. Apothecary Diaries 1 and 2. I don't think volume 3 is out yet. Black Butler. I have 1 through 10. I'm missing 11. And then 12 through 17. And then I'm missing a whole bunch. There's way more Black Butler that I need to pick up. Chikyu Misaki, volumes one through three, is complete. Continuing on, I have Chrono Crusade one through eight. This is complete. Death Note in the original first printing, one through 12, complete. A Devil and Her Love Song, one through 13, which is complete. The Devil Does Exist, one through 11, which is complete. Deco Boko Sugar Days, which is complete in one volume. D. Grayman, 1 through 26. This is up to date. Um, 27 should be coming out soon. DNA doesn't tell us 1 and 2 complete. Dolls 1 through 4 complete. Drifters 4 through 6. I am still hunting for 1 through 3. Once I get those, this will be complete. Fairy Cube 1 through 3, which is complete. And Fairy Tale Battle Royale 1 and 2. There are two more volumes out and I have heard that the rest of the series is on hiatus. Then I have From Far Away volumes one through five. This is an out of print series, really hard to get your hands on. It's complete at 14 volumes, I believe. I'm still hunting those down. We'll get them eventually. Then I have Fruits Basket in the original printing one through 23 complete. Full Metal Alchemist 1 through 27 complete. My last few volumes are the 3-in-1 editions. Then I have Ushigi Yugi 1 through 18 complete and the Byako Senki volume 1. Heard this is on hiatus which I'm really sad about because this was my favorite of the four gods. So I'm hoping they'll continue it eventually. Then I have Ghost Diary 1 through 3 complete, Ghostly Things 1 through 3 complete, The Girl from the Other Side 1 through 8, 9 is out, 10 is coming out soon, this will be complete in 11 volumes, 
Girl Got Game. These are the first five volumes and I have the rest on the next shelf. My last two shelves on this bookcase. Finish off Girl Got Game, 10 volumes complete. I have given up to volume four. This is still continuing. The God's Lie is complete in one volume. Goodbye My Rose Garden is complete in three. Go With the Clouds North by Northwest. I have the first three. The fourth volume is out and I believe the fifth volume is coming out soon. Happy Sugar Life 1 through 4. This is complete in 10 volumes. I think we are out to volume 8 in the US right now. Um, I will be collecting all of this. I've already read it all and I love it. Helsing 1 through 10 complete. High Rise Invasion 1 and 2 omnibus version. I will be picking up more of this. I think it's complete in 20 odd volumes. Higurashi When They Cry. I have 1 through 10, and then 11, 15, 16, 19, 21, 26, and the extra volume Demon Exposing Arc. These are really hard to find. I still need to pick up the few that I'm missing of this. Then I have Honey and Clover, 1 through 10 complete, Honey So Sweet, 1 through 8 complete. I hear the sunspot. This Volume is complete by itself, but then there is Limit and I think one other series. Um, I need to continue this. Imperfect Girl 1 through 3 is complete. King of Thorn 1 through 6 is complete. This is my first off cover spine. Really sad about this. Got it from Right Stuff. And then Kaiju Girl Caramelize 1 and 2. I need to pick up three and four. I do not know how many volumes will complete this. Moving on to my middle section, my narrow little corner shelf. I have Kiss Him Not Me volumes one through 14 complete and Koi Monogatari Love Stories volumes one and two. I don't believe this is complete. I think there is a volume three. Don't quote me. Then I have Laid Back Camp up to volume nine. This is not complete. Love Me For Who I Am. This is also not complete. I think it's complete in three or four volumes. Love Me, Love Me Not. I have up to volume five. This is not complete. I am a couple volumes behind, I believe. And then Mars, I have up to volume five and it's completed on the next shelf. Also, Tokyo Pop, really, what is this? What is this? So here we have the rest of Mars up to volume 15. This is complete. Meru Puri up to volume four. This is complete. Miracle Girls one through nine complete. My Love Story one through 13 complete. Mythical Investigator, Mythical Beast Investigator one and two complete. Ne 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 complete in one volume. And number six, one through five, which is completed on the next shelf. So here we have number six, one through nine, which finishes and completes this series. Have Noragami, one through 12, missing volume eight, and then 16 and one. This is completed in the US. I just need to pick up the volumes that I'm missing. Not Your Idol, one and two, this is on hiatus. I really, really, really hope it comes off hiatus. Of the Red, The Light, and the Ayakashi volumes one and two. This is complete in 10 volumes, I believe, which are all released and slowly going out of stock everywhere. So if you want them, pick them up. I'm going to awkwardly tilt my camera for the next two shelves. This is One Piece. I have volumes one through 90. I have this shelf is double stacked. So it's my only double stacked shelf. I hate double stacking, but with one piece, I feel like I kind of have to because it is so long. So after one piece, we have Our Dreams at Dusk, volumes one through four. This is complete. Oya Yu Bihime Infinity, one through six complete. Platinum End, one through 10. This is not complete, I think. We are out to volume 12 in the US, and I don't know what the final volume is. Then I have Pre Tier volumes 1 through 4 complete. Prince Freya 1 through 3. I am a bit behind on this. I think volume 5 
is out or coming out. I have Princess Eye 1 through 3, Princess Eye The Prism of Midnight Dawn 1 and 2, and Princess Eye Rumors of the Other Side, or from the Other Side. These are all complete. Then I have QQ Sweeper 1 through 3 complete. I am going to pick up Queen's Quality. I've been waiting for it to be completed, and I think it's coming near the end. Not 100% sure. Requiem of the Rose King 1 through 5. I am very behind on this. I will be picking up more. Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts 1 through 11. I am one volume behind, and I think it is complete at volume 13. Don't quote me. Then I have Codename Sailor V 1 and 2 complete, Sailor Moon 1 through 12 complete, and Sailor Moon Side Stories 1 and 2 complete. Then we have Sand Chronicles 1 through 10 complete. I just completed this recently. I finally found volume 8, which was impossible to find, as well as volume 10, which is also impossible to find. School Live 1 through 4, this is not complete, and I am behind. The Seven Princes of the Thousand Year Labyrinth 1 through 4 complete. She and Her Cat complete in one volume. Sherlock Bones 1 through 7 complete. Shinobi Life Volume 1. This was never completed in English, and I honestly only liked the first volume, so even though I have had the rest that were printed in English, I got rid of them because Volume 1 was the only one that I truly loved. I'm weird, I know. This is my life. A Silent Voice 1 through 7 complete. Swan 1 and 2. These volumes are really hard to find. I do want to pick up the rest of them eventually. We'll see when that happens. Then I have No Need for Tenchi, volumes 1 through 12 complete. The All New Tenchi Muyo, 1 through 10 complete. And Tenchi Muyo Sasami Stories complete in one volume. Then I have There Are Things I Can't Tell You complete in one volume. This Wonderful Season with You complete in one volume. Toilet Bound Hanako-kun, 1 through 6. I think 7 and 8 are out. Toradora, 1 through 9. One more volume and this will be complete, but who knows we're, when we're going to get volume 10. Total Eclipse of the Eternal Heart, complete in one volume. And Vampire Night, 1 through 7, which is completed on the next shelf. So we have Vampire Night, 8 through 19, which completes... Vampire Night. I am going to be collecting Vampire Night Memories. Variante 1 through 4 complete. The White Cat's Revenge as plotted from the Dragon King's Lap, volumes 1 and 2. This is current but not complete. Which is Love at the End of the World 1 and 2. Volume 3 is the last volume. I'm just waiting for that to come out. Wolf's Rain volumes 1 and 2 complete. Yona of the Dawn up to volume 12. This one I am very far behind, but I will be completing. And then this is where my manga collection gets a little bit funky. So I have the Anne of Green Gables manga classics manga version. Oopsies. And then Anne of Green Gables. This is literally the Anne of Green Gables book. It's the entire book, and it just has random little manga drawings throughout, which is really cute. I love Anne, Green Anne of Green Gables. So yeah. Then we start on my Never Completed in the U.S. series. These are series that are either still being printed in Japan or have completed printing in Japan and they never got finished in the US. So starting I have Apothecarius Argentum. This I have volumes one through five. I need to get six and seven and then I will have all of the volumes that were printed in the US. Then I have Atelier Marie and Ellie volumes one through four. I only need volume five which was never printed in the US but Volume 5 is the last of the series. That's one of those things that really drives me crazy. Um, with these, I am planning on completing the series in Japanese, like just getting the volumes that were never printed in the US. So, 
So then I have Ballad of a Shinigami 1 and 2, which is all that was released in the US. Blue Inferior 1, which is all that was printed in the US. Butterfly Volume 1, same deal. The Good Witch of the West, 1 through 6, same thing. And Grand Leers, I think we had 2 and 3 printed in the US, but no more past that. Monochrome Factor, 1 through 4, this is all that's in the US. Papillon, Volumes 1 through 4, again, same thing. This is all that we have in the US. Supply, or Supply, Volumes 1 through 5, same deal. Trinity Blood, 1 through 12. Vampire Princess Mew, 1 through 5. The Witch of Artemis, Volume 1, and Zone 001 through 4. So all of these except Grand Leers and Apothecarius Argentum, I have all of what was printed in the US and will be getting the missing volumes in Japanese. And onto my last shelves, I have Cardcaptor Sakura Clear Card Volumes 1 through 5, Little Little or Rituru Rituru. It's a single volume manga, super cute, literally has no words, just sound effects. It's really sweet. Then I have Hajimari no Nina, 1 through 4. This is complete in four volumes. Outlaw Star, one through three, which is complete. And Vampire Princess Mew, this is a special volume that is just an additional volume for the series. After that, I have a bunch of volume ones that I have read. This is my shelf for the ones that I want to continue collecting. So I have Blue Flag, Anaili and Duelia, Glefnir, Kake Guri, Living Room Matsunaga-san, No Guns Life, Sachi's Monstrous Appetite, Shikimori's Not Just a Cutie, A Sign of Affection, Starcrossed, and Zom 100. These are all the tall manga, which is why they are first, because they go on my top shelves. Then I have Adachi and Shimamura, Assassination Classroom, Can't Stop Cursing You, Chainsaw Man, Cutie and the Beast, Dead Mount Deathplay, The Earl and the Fairy, Gal Gohan, I Cannot Reach You, Inspector, the Kingdoms of Ruin, Kino's Journey, The Beautiful World, The King's Beast, Love and Heart, Mama Akuma, Mermaid Boys, Moriarty the Patriot, Roll Over and Die, Rosie in the Labyrinth, The Sorcerer King of Destruction and the Golem of the Barbarian Queen, A Tropical Fish Yearns for Snow, A White Rose in Bloom, and Yu Yu Hakusho. And then this last shelf is all of my new type magazines that I will probably never get rid of because this was how I first got into manga and learned about all the things that were coming out before my friends did. <laughs> and that is it for my manga collection video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have these series, if you want to collect these series, if you want to know more about any of these series or why I collect the things that I do. If you want to see more of my content, you can subscribe to me here on YouTube or follow me on Instagram. I'll have a link down below in the description. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye!